I, where did this story even, I don't even know. Sister Sue is in Vlogmas. Yeah, masks only Santa. Banjo gave me a little bit of a scratch. So I'd be lying if I didn't have a little mental breakdown today. <laughs> Vlogmas day 13. Today is Sunday and I'm actually on my way to take Christmas pictures for a family that I took Christmas pictures for last year. I hope it doesn't rain. It's kind of like sprinkling right now, but I don't think that'll be a problem. At least it's not like extremely sunny because sometimes like overcast days are a little bit nicer for pictures outside anyways. And it's not like crazy cold out. It's actually 42 degrees, which I think is decent to do outside pictures in in the winter time here in Pennsylvania. So <laughs> like I said, I was there last year to take Christmas pictures pictures but I don't remember like off the top of my head how to get there they live about like 25 minutes from me so I have the directions up on my phone and I hate having to look down at my phone to see where I'm going but if you guys saw a couple vlogs ago when Bobby and I were on our way to that cabin my screen in my car just stopped working like randomly and I haven't gotten it to work yet and I haven't been able to take it to the shop yet so normally I can just plug my phone into CarPlay in my car and the directions will pop up on the screen so I don't really have to like look down and it's very helpful and I love that feature about my car but um, I can't do that right now because the screen is not working at all and it's stuck on like the music screen but if I plug my phone in to CarPlay and just listen to music the directions on my phone go away and I wouldn't know how to get there so I'm not gonna be listening to music in this car ride it's just gonna be a silent car ride which is you and me so that's my morning right now I kind of forgot about that before I went in my car I'm like crap I'm not gonna be able to have the directions up on my screen I have to look down at my phone every couple every couple minutes in the new year i would totally love to get more into photography and do more photo sessions and everything but as of right now i am just really confident with my video work i would like to stick to that i know that i could only get better from here and there's like so many things that i want to buy next year to up my game with videography and like a drone for example i would love to get a drone in the new year um at some point but we will see i mean they're kind of expensive i don't know if you guys remember back in college this had to have been three years ago so if you guys have been following for that long like you guys are awesome I don't have many followers but I feel like a good bit of you guys are people who have been following me since college videos and I just love that so anyways I went to IUP and we have this thing called IU patties for St. Patrick's Day weekend and I ended up buying a drone from Walmart that was like 200 bucks and I was like obsessed with it for a while because I was like this is so cool I can fly it over like IU patties and get some epic shots of like everyone partying and stuff like that and we flew it in our apartment which we probably shouldn't have done and it crashed like a bunch of times it never broke yet yet and it worked like all this time I used it in one of my short films for a film class that I took at IUP two months later I didn't even use it and I take it to the beach to get some cool epic shots and it just wouldn't turn on the battery was not working that's what a $200 drone at Walmart gets you I know the one that I am looking into is like thousand I think we're gonna be saving up for that the point being I would love where did the story even I don't even know I'm so sorry I might even be cutting this out I have no idea but anyways point being I definitely would love to get some more video equipment next year so I'm so excited about that oh my god I missed the turn I'm gonna pull around in my microblading place <laughs> I got my eyebrows microbladed here <laughs> hi I'm back. Now we're back on track here. See, that's what happens whenever I am talking to my friends on the blog. I'm just talking to pass time because I can't listen to music. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. I need to actually like stop talking though so that I know where I'm going because here's the part where I have no idea where I am. little Christmas mask. Okay, we're ready to go. So I just finished pictures. I'm going to head home and edit them right now. I know where I am now, so I don't need the GPS so I can listen to music. I will see you guys whenever I get home. Sister Sue's in Vlogmas. I don't think you've been in one yet. 
we're gonna put up the Christmas tree downstairs because it's already the 12th, no, it's the 13th, and Santa comes in 11 days, and he won't come to our house if our tree isn't here. But he has to wear a mask. Yeah, masks only, Santa. I changed into my Steeler hoodie that I wear all the time. Well, it's not a hoodie, it's a crew neck, but um, Steelers play today, so fun. Banjo, you weren't even with us last year at this time. Now you're massive. Banjo gave me a little bit of a scratch, but it's okay. We still love him anyways. Right, Banjo? You're sorry. <laughs> happens every year where both of them, Natalie and Bobby, lead me to fluff the tree. I think I say this in every vlog, like every year in Vlogmas, whenever I put this tree up. You literally fluffed one branch. Five. Do you want to show them your haircut? I knew he was getting his haircut today, but I didn't think it was going to be this short. No, come close. I miss his long hair. Me too. Bobby hated my hair whenever I cut it short. That's a lie. and manual right now because the lights keep on not focusing but I decided to string our tree this year a little bit different than we have in previous years because of TikTok because TikTok just teaches you everything but instead of going like around and around you go up and down and I actually kind of like it I think it like shows more light oh god here we go again Kai goes obsessed with yet another tree my mom's favorite ornament. Here is the famous baby's first Christmas where this is neither me or Natalie in the picture. It's still the baby that came with this ornament. This was from 2000, Natalie. They're your age. Maybe we can hook Natalie up with whoever this baby is because they would be her age now. Does anyone else have random ornaments like this that you just don't even know who made it or why you have it still? Santa goes swimming. Santa is a plumber. Santa is a race car driver person. Okay, tree's up downstairs. Why aren't you focusing? Look at that bokeh in the background. I'm trying to find something to get for Bobby's parents and it's a lot harder than I anticipated. My mom's a tough one. Explain to the vlog what your parents like, what their what their aesthetic is. <laughs> I don't even think they know what that word means. They don't. That's my banjo scratch, look at that. It is almost midnight and I am currently editing the wedding highlight that I'm hoping to get up by Wednesday of this week. So I'd be lying if I didn't have a little mental breakdown today because of how stressed I kind of feel right now. And I'm not blaming Vlogmas, like, this is my doing, I choose to do this. Um, yeah, it kind of just makes me a little bit, like, not scared because I'm confident about next year and the weddings that I have, but it's just a lot. It's a lot of work and people underestimate the amount of time that it takes to edit a wedding and everything and I just... I just got another wedding submission as I'm talking about getting weddings. <laughs> I'm gonna take these off because they're like reflecting to my to my computer but anyways I feel like I knew a little mental breakdown was coming though during this time of year just because I am filming and editing every single day it definitely does take a toll on how stressed I feel but obviously like my weddings come first because that is my job but also I do vlogmas for me and for whoever likes to watch my videos I just had to like take a moment and realize how much I'm actually doing and be proud of myself for doing it because it's not easy and like I said, I'm not saying that it's like I have to do vlogmas, like I don't have to, I choose to because it's fun for me and, and I like to look back on these videos every single year um, for me. Like I appreciate whoever watches my videos, I know I don't have a big following. I actually kind of like it that way, today it kind of just hit me and Bobby was here trying to comfort me over it because I was like 
just stressed that I couldn't find any content and I feel like I have to edit every single day and I don't want you guys to be bored of that but at the same time that is my life and that's what I'm doing with it right now so there's probably people out there who don't even care like if I edit in every single vlog or whatever but it's just my crazy self thinking like I need to have something different for every single day but this is the reality of it all so I'm gonna edit here for like maybe 20-30 more minutes and then go to bed just because I am tired but I wanted to try to get a big chunk of this highlight done because I am posting their little like love story with their two pictures tomorrow on my Instagram and then their highlight is scheduled to hopefully go up on Wednesday so look out for that I would love if you guys would support to my small business I, I feel like I say the same things in every single video it's fine I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update of where I've been all night I feel like I haven't vlogged much today um I feel like the most I vlogged was today in the car when I was like on one like I don't know what was wrong with me I just kept talking and talking so I'm probably gonna hate myself for editing that part but tomorrow will be better tomorrow's a new day you're gonna have a couple of these in vlogmas every year <laughs> where you just have a mental breakdown but it's fine um, back in college, it was finals. Um, I lost my grandma during Vlogmas one year. I lost a cat last year during Vlogmas. Like, things happen. Life goes on. So, um, anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here because I don't really know what else I'm going to show you tonight because it's midnight and Vlogmas Day 14 starts tomorrow in seven minutes. So, I will see you guys with a brand new video tomorrow. Bye! I've been on the road, out here with the squad Everybody trying to go, yeah, the party jumping off And we putting on a show, trying to catch a vibe We do this every time, like, na-na-na-na